Today uh, we are talking flat lay photography. Yeah, yeah, trucker hats are still cool. Flat lays are a great way to tell a story like concisely. The things you need to bear in mind are the narratives. You know, what stuff are you going to put into your, your flat lay photo? Number two, it's got to kind of have a, a color palette. It's got to have a feel or a look to it. Number three, your background adds massively to that. Is it going to be grainy wood? Is it going to be plain paper? Is it going to be marble? Is it going to be gravel? You know, it's all part of telling the story. The last one is light. Generally, I kind of lean towards soft window light so you could see me pulling the table through I want it as close to the window as possible and that's going to make a great surface what you want to do is um, think about what you want to photograph for instance what I'm going to do is uh, gather all the bits around kind of adventure travel that I have lying around so for instance my little hand hatchet this thing is amazing. Uh, you know what ties in with that? A little gas lighter, maybe a notebook, a little point and shoot, a tripod. Then you can kind of think where do you want to go? I mean I love Africa so that's one of my books that I have used. You can switch up from the, the wooden surface or whatever surface you're going for, lay a map down, put your stuff on a map for example if you're doing something similar. A nice little touch to go a step further is if you have like um, weird coins and currency. These make great little tie-in um, little elements that you that help tell your story but are not like massively in your face. This is my favorite bit of currency ever. Yeah, I'm a trillionaire. That could be a nice little part of the flat lay as well. So we'll chuck that in. So you see, I've got all my pieces now, and it's kind of just like building a, um, a jigsaw puzzle. Let's add in maybe some coffee mug. And you just think about your crop, you know, do you want it to be a square crop? You know, do you want to leave place for text? That's another tip, you know, if you're promoting something, you can have uh, an area over here that you can display some text, maybe a logo, something like that. Um, and you just build as you go. So this is effectively flat lay. You, you lay it on a flat surface and you shoot from above. So when you're filming overhead, just be mindful of this axis and this axis. And just try and get them symmetrically in line, nice and square. I'd say you can shoot wide and then crop afterwards in post-production. That will make a really nice square image. Another little tip that you can do is, you see how I've got it, so the lights come in this way. If you twist it around 90 degrees, you change the direction of the light effectively. So now all the shadows are on this side. And that's lovely, lovely soft side light coming in. The light is stronger on this side and it kind of falls off across the frame like that. It gives a great kind of gradient and a nice texture to the shot. At this stage, it's worth maybe mentioning, if you've done all this on your phone, that's perfectly okay. But the same principles apply. A really nice surface, uh, your background, the color palette, the theme, the bits of the puzzle of the story that you're trying to tell, some, some really nice side or soft light. Also, watch out for that perspective. You, you want it to be nice and square over the top of your shot so that it's not coming in from an angle either way. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed that video, it was a bit of fun to make it, it's a genre that I've not really explored before. If it helps you out, if you picked up a couple of pointers, then, then I'm happy. Uh, please, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe if you, if you want to, um, I'm trying to build this channel up and any support is, is welcome. If you notice things that uh, I didn't maybe mention or skipped over, please let me know. I've got a few other videos lined up for the future. Thank you for watching again and I'll see you next time.